got an exam question walkthrough here. It's the structure determination question from the OCR paper two, the organic paper from 2017. So if I just scroll through the three slides that the three parts of the question are on, if you want to pause the video, have a go, and then play on for the answers. So there's part A, it's worth three marks. Part B, also worth three marks. And part C, also worth three marks. So like I said before, have a go and then play on when you're ready. So part A, we're going to use the percentage composition by mass and tie it in with the mass spectrum to work out the molecular formula. So the first thing I've done is looked at that peak furthest to the right on the mass spectrum with M over Z 136. That's telling us the MR of the compound is 136. So we'll take that percentage composition data and do an empirical formula calculation. So it's basically just percentage over MR. And that's given us a ratio of carbon to hydrogen to oxygen of 4 to 4 to 1. So the empirical formula is C4H4O. And that 68 in the bracket there is the MR of that formula. So we then link it to the um, MR of the molecule, 136. And you can see that it's actually double. So therefore, we need to double the empirical formula. So we get a molecular formula of C8H8O2. So part B, we've got the results from some qualitative tests on the aromatic compound. So the acidity of pH 5 is telling us that it's either a carboxylic acid or a phenol. But the fact that there's no observable change of sodium carbonate means it can't be a carboxylic acid, so it must be a phenol. Remember, it's aromatic. 2,4-DNP, we've got an orange precipitate, so that means it's a carbonyl, so it's either an aldehyde or ketone. Tollens reagent gives no observable change, no silver mirror in other words, so therefore it must be a ketone. So the functional groups present are phenol and ketone. So part C now, the carbon-13 NMR spectrum, and we're going to come up with a structure for the compound. So the first thing I would do is annotate that spectrum, so we'll see that now. So the fact that there are six peaks means there are six environments, and we'll just use the data sheet to work out what type of environment we've got. We've got one C to C environment, one C double bond O environment, remember we've already established it's a ketone, and we've got four peaks in the sort of benzene ring region, so there must be four environments in the benzene ring. So possible structures for the molecular formula that we've got and the fact that it's got to be a phenol and a ketone. It could be that. It could be that. Or it could be that. So in other words, we've got the 1-2 position, 1-3 or 1-4. So which one is it? Well, this one here, there are six different benzene carbon environments because each one on the ring is different. Likewise, that one as well, all six carbons in the ring are different, so it can't be these. So it's got to be this one, so let's just prove it. We've got one environment there in the benzene ring, their equivalent, their equivalent, and obviously that's unique. So you can see there are four different environments in that benzene ring, and so therefore that must be the correct structure. 